Deep in the lands of Zarad, the humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war soon to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. I think that's everything. We did it, hun. we We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for... him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. 
sweetie? Hun, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know it's a big change for all of us, but, son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good. He doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right. Get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too. Go on outside, sweetie. Go look around the neighborhood. Come on, son. Get out there. Make friends. You're really going to go outside with that hair? So you realize that your hair looks like that. Come on, son. Get out there. Make friends. It wasn't a request, it was a command. Now get out there and make some friends. Coming was foretold by a Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. 
But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. Be careful, the Rock of Insanity holds mysterious powers. Okay, you're insane now. If you want to be healed, you must gaze at the rock again. Ah yes, the Pool of Vision. Beautiful, isn't it? Do not disturb the sacred waters. You're messing with powers you don't understand. Mom, the new kid keeps trying to pop the Pool of Vision. Mom, the new kid keeps trying to pop the Pool of Vision. Mom! My loyalty is as incurable as my diabetes. The power of diabetes is both a gift and a curse, but mostly a curse. You may have heard of my deeds at the Battle of Stark's Pod. That's the line the Grand Wizard gave me. The wizard stump. Perhaps one day I will show you what it does. Ah, you have located the training area where our massive army learns to fight. Some say he who discovers the secret of the wizard stump is the master of his own destiny. I figured it out the other day, pretty easy at least for me. As court paladin, my job is to deliver the wizard king's justice and his mail. <laughs> of downtown, home of corrupt merchant lords and homeless people. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. Entered douchebag, is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name douchebag? Very well, douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. A white fighter? Haven't seen a good one of those in a while. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. You, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. A white thief? A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. We welcome to our kingdom, Douchebag the Mage. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight.
Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? Ah, a lovely purchase. Ah, you have procured a weapon. Nice. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. Bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. Oh! Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood! Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bows. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bows. Prepare yourself. Ah! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Dude, you're already way better than Clyde. All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde. Fucking asshole. I'm the king, and I say it's PP. Douchebag, use your mage ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Smile off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. What? I was going easy. Take this. Critical hit. Worthy juice bag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? I think the Grand Wizard wants you to meet him in the war tent. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick, controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long! For its power is too much for mere mortals to look at! Now that you have seen the Stick of Truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week. Four dollars of which is tax deductible. Someone has sounded the alarm! Alarm, alarm, alarm! What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive positions! your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! Ah. What are you looking at, pussy? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Do it, douchebag! Kick these elves' asses! Asshole! You're wounded, 
douchebag. Potions will heal you. Here. The rules say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was compromised. This guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counterattack. Look at your enemy on the ground. Weak and helpless. Kick the shit out of him. Awesome, you kicked his helpless ass. Now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King. Stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah, go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, if you can make me a douchebag, like you sure can fight! Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The Stick of Truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king! Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. 
The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go! And send my warriors here! Fighters, go with him! Guess I'm minding the shop now. You need any weapons or armor? Here's what we're selling today. Got something you want to sell? Got some pretty good wear here. Just be careful now. Oh, whoops. I'm sure that was an accident. I'm sure you didn't mean to do that. Should we sit on his couch? Yeah, fuck his shit up. This is the king's room. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. What exactly are you looking for? Eric has a lot of cool stuff. Big, 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 big
that's not really that nice. Oh, whoops. I'm sure that was an accident. I'm sure you didn't mean to do that. This is where the magic happens. Last week, Carter's mom was here with a few men having a whole lot of magic. She was doing hand magic and butt magic. Should we sit on his couch? This is where Karma does magic. Hmm, smells like the wizard is brewing some potion in here. Some wizard stew. Oh, looks like he forgot to flush the stew. If it splashes, it means you get a free wish. Yeah, fuck your shit up. That's not really that nice. We aren't allowed to go into the street. It's such an open world, our parents don't want us getting hurt. But those are holy items from the Orient. Legend has it that he who can collect enough will be rewarded. The Wizard King says I'm too ginger to be one of the humans, but Paladin Butters lets me be a squire on the sly. Paladins seek justice for all races! Behold! The residence of Butters the Merciful! There's a lot of fun and interesting ways we can integrate our queefs and just make them more dumb. Butters really is a very sweet boy. I hope you'll treat him as you would a normal child. You'll like it here. The air is fresh, and there's always something to do to take your mind off things you wish had never happened. You'll like it here. The air is fresh, and there's always something to do to take your mind off things you wish had never happened. Ah, this happened. must be the new kid. We're playing, Dad. Good for you. You Facebook me right away if Butters does something he should be grounded for. Butters, I hope you're teaching this new kid how to be popular. I sure am, Dad. Butters, I hope you're teaching this new kid how to be popular. I sure am, Dad. We must get back to the quest at hand, my lord. Welcome to my room. Those are my minions. They help me punish society.
if it splashes, it means you get a free wish. You can't expect me to pat you on the back just because you've made a few friends. As soon as you have a lot of friends, then I'll be proud. You're really going to go outside with that hair? Oh, look, you've made friends. I'll be your friend too, sweetie. It'll make you look popular. Go on outside, sweetie.
be of service. You name it, we'll sell it. Here's what we're selling today. All yours. A nice purchase. Good choice. Yeah. All yours. How may I be of service? Got some pretty good word here. These lands hold many dangers, new kid. Yeah, you moved to the wrong realm. Nice hair, douchebag. You want some of this? Take this! Suck it! before I do any more healing. Fuck you, asshole! Oh, 
Oh, Christ, what a pickle! more friends. There's a professor of astrophysics, that's a professor of neurobiology, and that was a lawyer, I think. He said he went to Oxford. How? I don't like being pushed around! Fury! You 
you gave it your best shot, and that's all Jesus asks of you. Facebook messaging than I am at speaking. Here, this will just go a lot faster if I friend you. You looking for Craig? Well, he can't play. He's in detention. Something about flipping off the principal. We better get to the other guys first. If it's precious, it means you get a free wish.
Greetings, human. While I would prefer to explore strange worlds with you, it is illogical to abandon the bridge until the captain returns. The captain is my mob. I, I can't go outside when she's not home. But the Federation has an urgent mission for you. A tricorder was left behind on the frozen planet of Hoth. Only it's not a tricorder, it's my dad's iPad too. I need you to beam down to the Omicron sector and locate that device before it falls into Klingon hands. I think it fell out of my backpack near the church. The Federation is counting on you to find that tricorder. I got the worst snuggie behind that building over there, it sucked.
There's this cool old dude who sells clothes on the other side of town. I see only Duff and K. You are a rotting corpse to me. Oh, please. What goth kid walks around in those clothes? We don't hang with conformists. Go get the stuff to look like we do. You want some of this? Let me in it! Ah. The galaxy is in your debt. Let it be known that I have been, and will always be, your friend. On Facebook. Douchebag, we aren't really being good teammates here. Uh, can we get back to the quest? Live long and prosper.
Damn kids. Nothing ever happens in this one-horse town, except for hippie infestations, cat piss huffing, guinea pig attacks. Sorry kid, I'm too busy to talk to you right now, maybe later. You don't talk, huh? Me neither. That's why they won't let me out. Hey, kid. Find the key and bust me out of here.
Stomper Stomper had a couple more years on his sentence. But you do have the key. Thanks. Now finally I can go see a Disneyland that hasn't been snuck into prison in some kid's asshole. Get out of here and leave me alone, pervert. human walking. Looking for Token? He lives in the gated community, where all the rich people live. This is where Jimmy gave me that noogie one time. You know you can die from a titty twister? Oh, what sad times these are when the nation's youth run around in dungeon clothes playing the games of Satan. Young man, if you really want power, there's only one thing you must do. Find Jesus. Find him, and when you do, return to me. Next time finding me won't be so easy.
We've been getting reports of a bunny rabbit running around people's yards. I'm gonna check it out. Do not despair, for many find Jesus only to lose him later. But the soul that does not abandon its search will surely be rewarded with his company. Remember that. Find Christ, my son, and you shall be greatly rewarded. My son, I hope you didn't peek. Remember, I will always be at the side of those who have found me. You can call me once per day with this, but I can't help against bosses. They're scary. Come find me again for another. You're a douche. We're gonna send you straight to heck! Man, I could be watching TV right now. We've been getting reports of a bunny rabbit running around yeah. people's yards. I'm gonna check it out. Now that you have found Jesus, he will- Give it back! Give it back! Why don't you make us? That's my Justin Bieber toy. Not anymore, it's not. Aw, oh, did Baby lose her toy? Who is this? Be a kid if you know what's good for you. Well, here we go again. Lock and load. kid. That was so amazing. What you did for me, I won't forget it.
Hey, kid, maybe you can help us with something. All these homeless people in South Park are making us look like a cold and heartless town. If you could go and beat the crap out of all the bums and vagrants, they'll leave town, and it'll restore South Park's reputation as a compassionate community. You gotta get every single one of those bastards, okay? Chop, chop. You look pretty desperate. This here is the marketplace. This is where heroes can come for adventuring gear, nose jabs, and abortions. Love to chat, but you're unpopular. Cut it out. Goddamn kids. Our little Bradley's class. I know everyone thinks their child is special, but I really think he is. Stop staring at me. It's creepy. Well, hey, officer Butt Baby. That's Butt Brady. Wait. I think you have a nice nose. I'd worry more about your hair if I was you. Oh, hello! Are you interested in some rhinoplasty? Here's a brochure with all of Dr. Tom's rates. Thank <laughs> you. 
again, I see. Let me show you our brochure. Can we please get back to playing the game? It'll be way more fun than this. add you to our email list. Sometimes we do two-for-one specials. I know you aren't supposed to give money to panhandlers, but this vice president kept a copy. Where are your parents? Okay, this is a stick-up. Put all the money in a bag or I'll fucking kill each and every one of you. Oh, hey, all right, Benny. How's it going? Just showing the new kid around. Hi, Butters. Good to see you too, Butters. Thanks for checking in.
day if you're a fetus here. Some mornings I wake up with a sore asshole. I must be sleeping on it funny. Hi! Did you accidentally get someone pregnant? Did you accidentally get someone pregnant? Us, okay, because we're such good friends. Hey, how was your weekend? That's so great. K later. Hey, how was your weekend? That's so great. K later. Hey, you're pretty good looking, kid. You ever think about modeling? Give me a swirly in that public bathroom over there one time. Come play hide and seek with us. You're it. Playing pirate is better than being. Less than reading nonchalant. Oh, anyway.
Giant, I stand in awe of you, hero. Welcome to the neighborhood. Hey, if you ever want to sue anybody, you can come to me first, okay? Music still. You can't see me. Ow! Well, this is Stan's house, but he isn't here right now. Sharon, there's a mess in the living room. Hey guys, grab a beer and join me for Sports Center. Oh, uh, Stan's out playing that game too. I wanted to Hey guys, grab a beer and join me for Sports Center. Oh, uh, Stan's out playing that game too. I wanted to come, but he wouldn't let me, so I'm drinking beer instead. Oh man, I thought we were gonna have fun. Is that part of your game, breaking shit? I'm sure he'd kill you his underwear if you just asked. I'm never coming out. I'm never coming out. I'm never come. I'm never come. I'm never come. I'm never coming out. I'm never coming out. The fuck are you? I'm gonna kill you, turd! Stan's dad takes, it takes big shits. If it splashes, it means you get a free wish.
Well, this is Stan's house, but he isn't. May I be of service? Got some pretty good word here. Slaying the mighty frost giant, I stand in awe of you, hero. I continue to admire your awesomeness. This elf is gonna fuck you up. Well, here we go again.
a good day to die. Uh, for you, that is. about you. She thinks you're cute. Ugh. If you see Kenny, tell him to pick up some dinner on his way home. Not them fancy toaster strudels, though. Just regular Pop-Tarts. We must get back to the... Dialogue! Yo, dog. Uh, can't I just go right back home after the flight so I don't get grounded?
little buddy. Giant, I stand in awe of you, hero. Billy tried to steal my hidey spot, but I made him go away. Thanks, kid. My night is looking a whole lot better now. Here, if you ever need my help, use this. I can't help with any tough fights, though. I don't want to get a fissure. Come back and find me if you want to call me again. But give it a day. I go to a lot of parties. Come back tomorrow, sweetie. I'm all booked up today. Some kids gave me the worst pig belly over there one time. <laughs> Feel my 
which is fury. Give you a good price. Evil genius things. Dougie spoke of you and says you'd make a worthy ally. Professor Chaos left me here to keep changing the light bulbs until the Earth's energy supply is drained. Stumbled upon the secret and cool air of a super evil, super cool, super genius. to keep changing the light bulbs until the Earth's energy supply is drained.
Percival of the, well, of the Knights of Kind Heartedness. Spare change? Recruit the Warriors 3! If you're ever traveling, Photo Dojo has hey, a great deal over on here. Don't worry, I'm not here to hurt you. It's me, Al Gore! You know, Al Gore, I'm super important. All right, look. I've detected some very strange activity in this area. I believe we are dealing with Man Bear Pig. Yes, the Man Bear Pig. I know you're scared, but I need help. Take these and place them in the location specified on the Man Bear map. Pig. And now I'm going to make you my friend on Facebook. This is very prestigious. You have my email now, but don't give it out to anybody. I'm super serial. Hurry! We must know if Man Bear Pig is here or not. Welcome to Tweet Coffee. Coffee made with ingredients supplied by local organic suppliers. It's local coffee, brewed locally. Tweak? Tweak? <laughs> Have you picked up the fresh local ingredients? Well, I'm not yet done. I'm still trying to do all my chores. Well, hurry up, son. The family business is relying on you. <laughs> can you keep a secret? Neither can I. Hello there. If you're looking for Tweak, he's in the back room, unattended, unattended, like a pristine meadow known only to the wild horses that graze there. Would you like to try some coffee? It's fresh, like a sun-dappled cornfield, ready for harvest. That purchase qualifies you to be a friend of Tweak Coffee online. As a friend of Tweak's, You'll receive fresh, homegrown emails. Then we'll sell your information to local spammers. Sure, we could sell it to one of the big national spammers, but I guess we just care a little more. You should try some coffee. It gives you that edge you need to stay focused at school. The stick it's is ours! Really 
Excuse me. You know you guys can't see it. I don't think I like you very much. And now for your feature presentation, the classic reread. I am Damien, the Antichrist, Wars, the, the son Empire of Satan, and I have never witnessed a thing as hideous and vile as the one you mortals call Bob Schneider. And our cast has been digitally replaced by Ewoks. Hey, I'm watching Coming this. Coming this summer, it's the classic film that changed America. E.T., the extraterrestrial, the new redone version for 2002. All the E.T. effects have been digitally upgraded. All the guns have been digitally changed to walkie-talkies. And the word terrorist has been changed to hippie. <laughs> Rob Schneider is a somewhat popular comedic actor who seems to have it up. Until one day, he came across a pot rose. And his life changed forever. Now he's sharing his body with an eight-year-old boy. And he's about to find out that being eight oh! ain't so great. Rob Schneider is Kenny. Rated PG-13. You're being rude. Rob Schneider is a Wall Street exec. Everything going for him. Only problem is... The stick is ours! Are you sure that this? You're not waiting on me, are you? Man, I could be watching TV right now.
Hey, you kids, you want to see a movie? Oh, that's right, you can't, because it's rated R and it's too mature for you. Yeah, yeah, we got the package for Tweet Coffee. You... Hey, that's not the usual kid that picks up the package, huh? Oh, shit. It's a kid! What if we just make friends instead? must be cooking up a secret potion. I wonder if it's a healing potion.
You should try some coffee. It gives you that edge you need to stay focused at school. You got it! You got the pickup! Oh, thanks, man. Dad, I finished my work. Can I go play? Where's today's delivery? Right here. Hmm. Yep, that's good shit. All right, Tweak, you can play for a little bit. But be home before dark or you'll be grounded. Grounded, like the fresh grinds of our all-organic tweak blend, made with ingredients from local tweakers. Thanks, kid. I gotta go get changed and then I'll meet you at the kingdom. Shop. Thanks for helping Tweak out in the back room. Would you like to try some coffee? It's fresh, like a... If you try again, I will pepper spray you back to the Stone Age. Hey, no fighting in here! Uh. Hello, welcome to Shitty Walk. Take all the prayers. Only thing we're serving today is Mongolian beef. Mongolian beef, so good. Oh, I just love it. Oh, hello, Mongolian! Shh. Mongolians are watching. They conquered me last week. Act natural. 
Oh yeah, Mongolian beef. Mmm, so tasty, right? Wow. It's not tasty at all. It gross. Don't eat it. You eat a Mongolian beef, you shit your pants for five days. All right, Mongolian. Please, you gotta help me out. The Mongolians all live like rats in the tower of a piece next door. I'll keep the adults occupied here. You go top a tower and beat up all their kids. Beat up all the Mongolian kids. The Mongolian think this neighborhood not a safe place. They move away. Go, go. Beat up the little Mongolian kids. Oh, hello, Mongolian. Mongolian beef smell like a Rhino Richie's asshole. Hey, Big Nose, you should consider having some work done. Die, asshole! I'm gonna beat the shit out of you! Thank you. 
Shooter was nice while it lasted. There you go, kid. All this shitty chicken you can carry. You do good work. I'll help you fuck up Mongolians anytime you want. Not bosses, though. They too tough. You call me with this. I give you one per day. Sorry, you can only summon me once per day. Jimbo and Ned. Well, what brings you here today? Business or pleasure? Or vengeance? Vengeance! You've come to the right place. Howdy there. Haven't seen you before. You must be the new kid that moved to town. And you're into hunting, huh? Well, my boy, you've come to the right place. South Park is chock full of things to shoot that would delight any taxidermist, survivalist, or weekend animal death enthusiast. Ain't much I can sell to a miner, thanks to the stupid Democrats, but, but if you could prove yourself a real hunter, I might be able to get you some better stuff. You should buy a copy of The Hunter's Guide to South Park Wildlife, th this book thingy here. Oh, 
Bag. We aren't really being good teammates here. Uh, can we get back to the quest? Think of that guide, you come back and see old Jimbo and Ned. The best part of hunting is bragging about it to other hunters. What can I do for you, new kid? Shot and killed any of them animals in the wildlife guide? I'll make it worth your while. You remind me of a guy I served with in Nam. Remember, you can legally kill anything in self defense. Do you need to borrow my voice box?
Guess I hit it a little hard at the bar this morning. Thanks for waking me up, kid. You on Facebook? Well, well, you supposed to be some kind of knight of the round table? Welcome to ye old Skeeter's Tavern. Tell you what, good sir knight, I got rats in the basement. Big ones. That's why I got stuck with her majesty's goddamn health code violation. You think you're a real dungeon dweller? Then go clear out them rats out of my basement. Well, what are you waiting for? Make fucking haste. Hamburgers.
damn if you ain't a noble knight after all. All right, kid, here you go. Ooh. Ah! We don't take kindly to your type around here, except you. We like we like you. Them rats got what was coming to them. I had you figured wrong, kid. We don't take kindly to your type around here, except you. We like we like you. with everyone. Warn you, sir. I have five years training at the mall. Move along, sir. What the fuck? Oh no! Ah shit! This is private property, sir. I'm gonna do my wall dance now.
Can I help you? What's this? Oh, the L stick, the stick again? Hang on a second. Thank you for thy message, traveler. I shall make haste to Koopa Keep. Mom, can you drive me to Eric's house? Move along, sir. I can't look at you without feelings of deep personal shame. This is dark and scary. What if you never found me? I need to get in on that. Come on, give me a reason. I'll be watching you, new kid, on Facebook. I hope you post a lot of cat pictures. I'd 
love to chat, but you're unpopular. Reporting for duty, Grand Wizard! Nice work, douchebag. Now all my men are here and ready to fight for the- Wait a minute. Where's Feldspar? Where's my level 12 thief? Uh, hey, yeah, where's Craig? He's in detention. What? He flipped off the principal, so he's in detention again! Oh my god. If they've locked away our thief in detention, we have no hope of getting back the stick of truth. We have to break him out. Ah, no way, man! Last time we broke Craig out of detention, we all got in trouble! Getting into trouble is a risk that douchebag is willing to take! You have to break out our thief, douchebag. But don't worry, I will not let you go unprepared. I'm going to teach you how to use magic. Meet me at the training barracks. It's time for you to learn Dragon Shout. Welcome to our lake. All are welcome here, even those with chronic medical conditions. Just because someone has diabetes doesn't mean they can't be a productive member of society. <laughs> hey, where the hell are you going? <laughs> what, you... you want me to fight with you? Okay, this paladin is ready to kick some ass! At first I didn't want to join the KKK at all, but the Grand Wizard made some really good points. Can't talk! Need to practice! You fight well, douchebag, but to truly succeed in combat you must learn to harness the power of your fight. Farting on an opponent at precisely the right time is key to battle. I shall show you how it's done, but first, you must take the gentleman's oath. You must promise to never, ever fart on anyone's bows, okay? Farting on an opponent is necessary, but farting on someone's bows is not cool. Do you understand? Alright, then let's begin your training. To conjure dragon shouts, you must first clear your mind and take in a deep breath through your butthole. Like so. Huh? Then, let it rumble inside you, and... Dragon shout! I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! Find the frequency! Hold! Hold! My god, that was incredible. A man could live a hundred years and never again witness a spell so boisterous. Could it be that the prophecies are true? Could it be that the dragonborn has come at last, in our hour of need? Now let us try your skill on a real opponent. Hey! Hey, Princess Kenny! <laughs> could you come here a sec? <laughs> Shh, no time, okay. Just real quick, Princess Kenny. Sir Douchebag wants to show you something. All right, you two. Spar! Sir Douchebag, show Princess Kenny the magical powers I have taught you. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking hilarious! <laughs> that was fucking awesome! <laughs> oh, okay, good job, Sir Douchebag. That was sweet. Thanks, Princess Kenny. That's all for now. <laughs> okay, okay, but dude, seriously, remember, don't ever do that on someone's boss. Okay, seriously, you have mastered dragon shafts. From now on, it will be easier for you. Kenny will sit. you on your quest, douchebag. Now go- Go get Craig while I rest and relax upon my throne. The wizard's stump. Perhaps one day I will show you what it does. I'm counting on you. Get Craig back here alive. <laughs> what, you- You want me to fight with you? Okay, this paladin is Don't ready to my kick <laughs> How did your ass learn such incredible magic so easily? <laughs> At first
first, I didn't want to join the KKK at all. But the Grand Wizard made some really good points. At first, I didn't want to join the KKK at all. But the Grand Wizard made some really good points. How may I be of service? You name it, we'll sell it. Let's see what you've got. May I be of service? Here's what we're selling today. What are you selling? So you realize that your hair looks like that. Come on, son, get out there, make friends. You're really gonna go outside with that hair?
Craig, Craig, this is detention, okay? Stop looking at your watch because you're here for three hours, buddy, okay? Whatever. Now don't think your friends are gonna come bust you out this time, Craig. My name is Feldspar, and I'm a level 6 thief, and the humans will soon rescue me from this tower. No, your name is fucking Craig Tucker, and you're in detention! Now start doing your homework! Okay, I've got all the doors sealed, and I've got hallway monitors working overtime! Nobody's gonna save your ass today, Craig, okay? Excuse me, but school is out, and no students allowed on the premises until tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. We're overrun! Woohoo! Officer down! Officer down! Send back up! Repeat, officer down. All hallway monitors to the right hallway. Oh, goddammit. Here they come. They're gonna get you, Craig. You're not getting out of detention. I'll be out of here in ten minutes. because I've hidden the key somewhere and you'll never find it in my office. Oh, damn it. Okay. Take the brass key. 
see from my cold, dead hands. You can take the brass key from my cold, dead hands. Now look, this is detention time, not time to play Dungeons and Dragons. And besides, he's never going to get inside here because to open the door you need the gold key and the only way to get the gold key is by getting the silver key, okay, which even if he has the brass key, he still hasn't made it past the boss level, okay. <laughs> Silver key and find the gold key. You can succeed where I have failed. Free Mackie's prisoners. I sure hope the gold key is in there, or else the quest for the silver key has been all for nothing. 
careful, douchebag. This is Mackie's lair. One wrong step and we could end up in detention. Cafeteria door. Intruder, where's your hall pass? No hall pass? Then it's time to write you a referral. Oh yeah, that's the boss. Good luck fighting the boss, okay? You still think this is a game, young man? Deadly Farth is authorized. Arr!
What's your name? Oh well, I'm heading to Koopa Keep. See you there, I guess. You're a douche! We're gonna send you straight to heck! Keep a secret? Neither can I. Gentlemen, thanks to the new kid, our entire army is assembled. It is my belief that the new kid deserves to rank up in level. To honor his efforts, he will no longer be called Douchebag. New Kid, I hereby dub thee Sir Douchebag. Congratulations. But now it is time for us to take back that which is rightfully ours. A carrier raven has come with news that the Stick of Truth has not yet been taken to the Elven Forest. It is in the possession of the Bard. <gasps> the Bard? Oh, oh God, not the Bard! The Bard is a level 10 Drow Elf who can use magic to enchant and destroy his enemies. Are you ready to continue your training? Then make haste to the training grounds. At first, I didn't want to join the KKK at all, but the Grand Wizard made some really good points. <laughs> Princess Kenny says she may be a beautiful seductress, but she can fight too. My job is to clean up all the cat poop. The Grand Wizard will hold snacks if we talk off script. Stick to your lines. No talking, Scott. Just because someone has diabetes doesn't mean they can't be a productive member of society. Princess Kenny says she may be a beautiful seductress, but she can fight too. What you? You want me to fight with you? Okay, this paladin is ready to kick some ass. The bard has no honor. The bard has no honor. Can't talk! Need to practice! Ah! I'm going to teach you how to use a ranged magic attack. It's not easy, but being able to cup a spell from a distance can save you in battle. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> yeah! Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. <laughs> yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cup the magic and throw it at your opponent. <laughs> yes, yes! But now let us see how you fare against a real opponent. Hey, hey, Malkinson! Malkinson, could you come help us with something? <laughs> Shh, don't have to this. It's gonna be sweet. Yes? Uh, hey, Scott, could you um spar with Douchebag real quick? He's gonna try to new move. I'm guy! Now, douchebag, cup us now! Dude, that was sweet! You threw that shit right in Scott's face! <laughs> Alright, Scott, go back to your post. Thank you. <laughs>
Use it wisely in battle, douchebag. And never on a man's boss. If the carrier ravens are correct, the bard is hiding out at the inn of the giggling donkey. We must find him before he's able to take the stick back to the oven forest. Let us find the bard and bring him to justice! Make haste to the giggling donkey! The end of the giggling donkey is a dangerous place. I'm staying back here to guard the base. Got some pretty good word here. All yours. Good choice. A nice purchase. Yeah. The end of the giggling donkey. Paladin, are you sure the bard is hiding out in there? That's what Twitter says. Carrier Raven Butters. Oh, sorry, sorry, that's what the Carrier Raven says. Craig and Token, guard the back door. Butters, Kenny, Sir Douchebag, let's go inside. Stay close, Sir Douchebag. The end of the giggling donkey harbors the scum of Alzaron. A glass of meadow wine, please. No meadow wine today, only fairy ale. Time to fairy ale, then. So, has, uh, anyone seen the bard lately? <coughs> A 
cup of fairy ale isn't much if not accompanied by some bardic poems and songs. Sure, he's here, all right. He's got a room down in the cellar. Ah, and I shall pay handsomely for his services. Sir Douchebag? Butters, douchebag, go down and flush him out. Princess Kinney and I will be waiting here to murder him. Remember, the bard can use songs to enchant. Don't let him get to you. Flush the bard towards us. We'll do the rest. You think the bard's really down here? Magical songs of enchain me me with magical songs of enchain me magical songs of enchain me me with magical songs of enchain me magical songs of enchain me me with magical songs of enchain me magical songs of enchain me me with magical songs of enchain me magical songs of enchain me me with magical songs of enchain me magical songs of enchain me me Magical songs of enchantment. There once was a maiden from Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy, did she swallow.
down there and finish them off. I will protect this stick of truth. You're not getting past me. No prisoners! I'm looking forward to this. Bag, up here. I'll handle this. Ow. Ow, my ankle. I, I think it might be broken. Maybe I should take a look at it. Somebody's baking brownies. Oh. I'd check my drawers if I was you. Oh. Your word is the command, my lord. Yes, sir. Here you go, buddy. Thank you, Noble Paladin. My wound is healed. Can you get us upstairs? I think they locked us out. Nothing a level 12 thief can't take care of. You guys go ahead. Come on, let's get out of here. You guys go ahead. For the old tank! Uh, someone help! 
That came from the kitchen. Come on, the wizard's in the kitchen. We gotta help him. Everybody. You are fucking dead.
over there. He's hurt bad. Good thing my medicine skills are plus four. We'll revive the wizard. You guys get upstairs. No hurry, douchebag. The princess is just being raped.
I know you want to get the most out of this game, but our friend is just getting raped. Make sure you check. to the bridges! Wait a minute, listen! They're raping the princess right now! We have to bust in there! <laughs> He's keeping a prisoner! Princess Kinney, how badly did they rape you? <laughs> I can't get through. The door appears to be enchanted, so I can't turn the knob. You can't hold the doorknob, Bard. That's cheating. Yeah, I can. I have the stick of truth, which means I control the universe, and I say holding the doorknob is okay. Ah, can he do that? He has the stick of truth. He can do what he wants. Damn it! There's got to be another way into this room. Hey, let us up! You're not getting up here. The ladder's up here with me, and I'm sure as shit not coming down there. Yeah, looking what we got here. I'm coming for you, baby. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, those are some big old bitties. Man, oh man. Good job, Princess Gone Wild. Double D buddy power.
Grand Bard, give me the stick of truth. Take it from me if you can, Wizard King. Step forward now and fulfill your d-d-d- And fulfill your d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-d-
him up and knock him down. Wow, what a terrific <laughs> target. Hugs <laughs> <laughs> on me. Running shoes. Just kidding. Oh, you dirty winch! That all you got? Dirty winch? That all you got? Ready to leave, sir douchebag? The stick of truth is back where it belongs. Great job, men. Douchebag, for your heroic deeds and valiant self-sacrifice at the Great Battle of the Giggling Donkey, I hereby make you an official member of the Kingdom of Koopa Keep. Welcome to the KKK. It's getting late. The Grand Wizard needs to go night-night. Okay, Mom. Thanks for pointing out bedtime for everyone.
It's a school night, hon. You and your little druid friends need to- We're not druids, Mom! We're fucking warriors and wizards! Oh, that's it. You're going to bed. The rest of you better get home, too. It's late, hon. Your parents will be worried. Well, there he is. You make any new friends, sweetheart? Nothing to say, huh? What a surprise. It's late, sweetie. Go on up to bed and I'll be there to say goodnight. Good night, little man. I hope you're as happy as we are. Everything is going to be better now that we're in this quiet little mountain town. Having the dream again. Okay, this is dreaming. What's happening? Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ! Oh, can we try the big silver one again? Is this your first time getting probed? Yeah, it's a pain, but this is the kind of stuff you put up with living in a remote little mountain town. At least we don't have to deal with traffic. 
Hey, you broke free! Kid, you have an incredible control of your asshole! Get me loose too! Wow, look at that! You must have broke off part of the probe and now you can control it with your sphincter muscles. Pretty cool. I'm surrounded by some kind of force field. Go find a way to shut it off. When you break me free, I can show you how to get off the ship.
무무 무무 무. 
hello, is this recording? If you are hearing this, I've been taken hostage on some kind of alien ship. The aliens did unspeakable things to my rectal cavity. But I've broken free. I'm so scared and alone. I must find a way off this ship. Oh god, they're coming. Why am I standing here making an audio lock? I don't have time for this. Leave me alone! No, 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 no. Great, you're there! See if you can free me from that console! Probably not though, it's incredibly advanced alien technology. No way some kid could work it. Day two. So hungry. I've searched for food, but the only thing I've found are other people's annoying, useless audio logs. Why did they bother when they clearly were in terrible danger? Each audio log I find is more irrelevant and boring than the last. I must keep looking for a way to survive. Score! Aliens hate electricity! Keep going, I think you're onto something. I knew I could trust you, keep it up! Uh, I'm still stuck, better try the other console. the other console. God, I hope this works.
everywhere, but I can't find anything to eat or a clue to get me off the ship. Just more audio logs. They're everywhere. For some reason, I listen to every minute of every one of them, thinking there'd be some useful information, but it's like they're just filler. Useless filler. They're filler that's driving me to madness. Oh, God. Oh, God, I got an itch. Oh, God, that is the worst. Oh, oh. Okay, that one doesn't work either. Head back towards the elevator. No more! No more, please! You're gonna have to find another way! Okay, 
Okay, I didn't want you to have to do this, but there's one more console you can try in that room across the bridge. The alien who works there is really tough, so be careful and remember to use electricity. down. Come on back and we can get out of here. Saturday night, feeling all right, feeling okay. Um,
Okay, I did find one audio log that was mildly amusing. A woman trapped on this ship left an audio log about some papers she had left in an alien cabinet, and she told me the code was 776. That was kind of cool because I didn't know the code before that. Though when I opened the cabinet, there was only some kind of power-up I didn't really need.
success. I found something that looks to be food. It's some sort of green fluorescent goo. I'm, I'm gonna have to try and eat some. It's, it's not so bad. It's tangy and nutty. Would probably go well with a... Hey, what, what's happening to me? What's it? I eat some of the What's going on? Great, you made it! Okay, use this panel here and we can all go home! Thanks, kid. I don't know who you are or if you're real, but consider me your friend. Until we meet again!
Yes? At what location? How many people in the town? Get in there and cover it up. This could change everything. Get everyone moving! We've got another UFO crash.
Good morning, champ. Good morning. More time to meet some new friends in the neighborhood. That's worse than before. You look like a girl. Come on, son. Get out there. Make friends. Maybe you could try calling one of your friends today on your new phone. Just, just a thought. Come on, honey. It's a whole new town. Go outside. A large earthquake and several fires in the South Park area last night woke many residents from their sleep. Here with the report is a midget in a bikini. Tom, government workers here are assuring everyone nothing out of the ordinary has happened. They claim that the only reason huge tents have gone up to cover this area is to mask the construction of a new Taco Bell, which will open sometime later this month. Thanks, midget. I do love me some Taco Bell. The mayor of South Park states that last night's tremors and fires are under control and that hopefully schools and businesses can open again soon. It's horrible. You don't understand. The elves, they took the stick. And it's bullshit because that is totally cheating. We specifically said no trying to take the stick at night. Elves are dirty little liars and we have to lay waste to their entire base. You have some incredible ability to make friends quickly, Sir Douchebag. I'm sending you on a quest to go out into the lands of Zaron and recruit a whole nother faction to Koopa Keep. Find the goth kids and give them this letter. Get them to join our kingdom and we shall lay waste to the drow elves once and for all! Fucking cheaters. Spring is on the way. Such a fun and inspiring time to decorate. 
just like most women out there, I've really gotten into... Who the fuck are you? I'm gonna kill you, turd! My Eric certainly has a lot of little playmates. He's such a friendly boy. The Grand Wizard said that I'm in charge of the shop now because I sound like Clyde. I don't sound like Clyde. Anyways, welcome, weary traveler. Would you like to see my wares? Welcome, weary traveler. Would you like to see my wares?
My job is to clean up all the cat poop. Ah, my champion returns. But what about the goth kids? Get back out there. Ah, my champion returns. But what about the goth kids? Get back out there. What, you... You want me to fight with you? Okay, this paladin is ready to kick your ass. <laughs> hey, where's with the witches? <laughs> <laughs> Move along, sir. I can't look at you without feelings of deep personal shame. Folks, there's nothing to be concerned with here. Absolutely nothing out of the ordinary is going on. We're simply getting ready for the grand opening of a new Taco Bell. New Taco Bell opening soon. Very big Taco Bell. It's going to open in a few weeks. Thank you. Uh, will this Taco Bell be serving in Chiritos? What? Well, is it going to be a full menu Taco Bell, or is this going to be one of those Taco Bell KFC combos? We got a guy out here asking a lot of questions. Just stick to the script as laid out in the protocol. But he wants to know if the Taco Bell will have Inchoritos or not, sir. Damn it, we don't have a contingency for that. Michaels, isolate and neutralize the threat. Yes, sir. Look, it's a simple question. If this is going to be a huge Taco Bell, will it serve Inchoritos? I think we have a right to know... Mark? Folks, we know you're all very excited, but for your safety, we ask you stay clear of the construction site. Mark? Oh, hey, kid, you need any help or fight today, you summon me. Sorry, you can only summon me. Fuck you, asshole! <laughs> Ah. 
What can I do for you, new kid? Nice work! I remember when I bagged my first dog. This was real personal for me and Ned. Well, we lost half our unit to a farm cow when we were stationed in Hanoi. Far as we're concerned, you're a damn hero, kid. We're both proud to know you. I have no words. I can't wait to see what you kill next. Clean up that That was so amazing what you did for me, I won't forget it. Looks like you caught Santa checking the police database to see who's been naughty. You wouldn't tell on Santa, would you?
The Lord is with you, my son, except for boss fights. Who's that? I think it's that new kid people are talking about. Beat it, new kid. This area is strictly for goth kids. What's this? Join the Kingdom of Koopa Keep to battle the wicked elves. All recruits welcome. Sorry, Frodo. We don't play Dungeons and Douchebags. Yeah, beat it, new kid. Oh, come on. Let's do it. We never do anything. No way. We can't do what this kid asks us to do. He's a conformist. Look at his clothes and his hair. Yeah, tell you what, new kid. Get the right clothes and some cigarettes and coffee and then talk to us again. Yeah, if you want to prove you aren't a conformist, then you need to look exactly like we do. Then maybe we'll consider hanging out with you.
wolf security system. I refuse to be the victim. really clean up that bar of his. Next thing you know, they'll be soap in the bathroom. Come on, give me a reason. You're a douche.
Kid. Wow, breaking and entering. That was awesome. I hope I can destroy property someday. I hope I can destroy property someday. It feels like totally not able to heal any cherish and fill up movie. Good job, Junior Algorian! With all the sensors in place, I can get a reading on my <gasps> I knew it! These are definitely hot man bear pig readings! Come with me. I must put this data in the data man bear pig base. Interesting. The sensors have picked up Man Bear Pig underneath the ground of South Park. If you know anywhere you can get underground, go there at once and run this defilibrator. Back again, Junior Algorian? Have you found somewhere in the sewers to put the defilibrator? I'll give you a good price.
Hey, new kid, I've got a little time for you if you need me to put somebody up my ass. Biggest damn Taco Bell I've ever seen. Fuck you, asshole! Move along, move along, sir. I can't You're look at you without feelings of. <laughs>
Grandpa told me to pick that spot. Pretty good, huh? Anybody down in the sewers these days? Who's at the door? Is that the guy with my pills? No, it's not anyone with pills for you, darling, okay? I called that motherfucker three hours ago! This is my lovely wife, Autumn. She celebrates Christmas with vodka and muscle relaxers. And who every day is Christmas? Wait, where the fuck are my kids? What do you mean, where are the kids? You're supposed to be watching them out back, Autumn. No! They were being watched by the babysitter! The babysitter quit four months ago when you threw up on her! Don't you fucking yell at me! Don't you excuse us a minute! Don't you ever embarrass me by the strange old ass You try! You try, got him! And you don't know where your kids are! Fuck you, they're your kids too, you piece of shit! Oh, fuck you, Adam! Fuck you! Howdy ho! Hi, listen, I gotta get my wife some help! <laughs> Could you go look for our children? I sure would make it worth your while. They're Simon, Amber, and Corn Wallace. Tell them their father wants them home right away. My babies! <laughs> Bring me the <my> babies! <laughs> You're a fucking train wreck! You put that face down! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, <laughs> 
Whatever you can spam. That's not nice. spot.
cigarette. You guys got more? Yeah, we just stole a fresh pack. Not the girl kind again. Yeah, they're slim. Smoke too if you're such a big bad asshole. Get lost, kid. We're trying to smoke here. Make your move. What can I do for you, new kid? All right! Looks like that bat sucked its last fruit! That mouse was making us all look bad. In more ways than one, eh, Ned? Speak for yourself. I can't wait to see what you kill next!
You remind me of a guy I served with in, um... What can I do for you, dude kid? Shot and killed any of them animals in the wildlife guide? I'll make it worth your while. I'm a little bit country. Well, I'm a little What you did for me, I won't forget it. Thanks, kid. Your work helping with the homeless of South Park will never be forgotten. Here's your cash. I don't want to hear about your problems until you're 18, kid. There's a rumor the girls have a secret base, but I've never seen it. Nice work. I will let you know of any updates on Manbear Peg. Make sure to share the news on Facebook. I'm super serial. Give you a good price.
Which of our local coffees would you like to try? Secret? Neither can I. Hey, there he is. New kid! New kid! The Elf King has requested your presence. You can either come quietly, or you can fight. But I warn you. Fighting this fight at this point in the game is a complete waste of time, and you might as well skip it and just come with us. You chose wisely, new kid. Come with us. What's your name? He doesn't talk, Elf King. He thinks he's hot shit or something. You're playing for the wrong side, dude. What did Wizard Fatass tell you? That we broke the rules and took the stick last night? He's lying. Cartman is the one you should be fighting against. He's hiding the stick, which is cheating, and acting all betrayed and sad to get you to recruit more people for him. We tracked a Twitter raven who says you are currently trying to recruit the Goths for the Wizard. Go recruit them, but bring them to us. Then we can ransack Carbon's stupid kingdom and get the stick back once and for all! I'm trusting you to do what's right. And kid, if you betray us, we'll tell everyone you're a butthole. I am sending our best ranger to help guide you. The bard is also at your disposal now. Don't let Carbon use you! Don't let Carbon use you! You know what every good bard should have? A flute. If I had a flute, I could play fantastic melodies. If I only had a flute. My Facebook says the rancher might be selling one. You know where the ranch is? I'd love to see if I could buy that flute. All is lost. My contacts, my maps, my friends list, all taken from me by the she-ogre. She has no soul. You will help me battle the she-ogre and reclaim my iPhone? Perhaps you are one to be trusted. Very well. Let us end this. And my shop is open to you.
We elves craft the finest shit in the land. Our king may trust you, but that doesn't mean I have to. The humans have raised banners around town claiming elf territory for their own. So saith the Well of Insight. Plus, it's all over Twitter. The well says balance can be restored only if a chosen one were to fuck up their banners. human. is just 
got some paper. Like... At least light a match. I guess that's cool. Ever wonder what it'd be like to be a dolphin? Just doing flips, eating fish, not a care in the world? Nothing can prepare you for this battle. If I die, tell the guys I fought bravely. Down on that side is where my parents sleep, and across from that is the cave of the She-Ogre. Give me back my iPhone, demon! You little turd! I've brought help! Let's see you try and take us both! Ah! Your days are numbered, She-Ogre! You got somewhere you'd rather be? Lock and load. Man, we rip shit up. Take mine iPhone again, and I shall bring justice swifter yet. Get I bow to you, Ogre Slayer. I'm glad to call you friend. We elves craft the finest shit in the land.
You're back, Junior Algorian. But why haven't you liked any of my Facebook messages? Unless... Of course. You're no normal human kid. It's you, Man Bear Pig! I have you now! Let us fight to the death! Come on, guys! Now let's see how you like sitting through a whole presentation on global warming! You hit like my grandpa! No way, dude! You cannot escape the scientific certainty of global climate change! Yeah! What is the holdup? Protect the former sort of vice president. The hustle is taking his sweet time. to stand up. I'm low on enchilada rations, but I think I can hold out. Hostile is taking a sweet time. I'm 
low on enchiladas, but I think I can hold out. I'm low on enchiladas, but I think I can hold out. So it's a standoff. Taking a sweet time. <laughs> I'm low on enchiladas, but I think I can hold out. in the land, and it must be respected!
Most barely president. Jimmy here. I think he'd like it. Oh boy, the cattle ranch. We're here. Excuse us. Hello. Hey, get off my ranch. Sorry to bother you, sir. We are elven warriors of the forest. I understand you might have a, f a flute for sale. You want to buy the flute? It just so happens I'm a level 10 bard, and a flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchant- of enchant- Magical songs of enchant- of en A flute is just what I need to play ma- A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchant- of enchant- Magical songs of enchant- of enchant- A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchant- of enchant- Magical songs of enchant- Magical songs of enchant- of en of enchanted. Magical sounds of enchanted. Of enchanted. A flute is just what I need to play. Ma A flute is just what I need to play. Magical sounds of enchanted. Of enchanted. Magical sounds of enchanted. Of enchanted. Magical sounds of enchanted. Of enchanted. 
A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchant enchantment. Yeah, well, the only problem is the flute's in the barn, and there's where the crazy cattle are locked up. Damnedest thing I ever saw. Some of the cattle started acting real funny. I, I tried to calm them down, but they shouted something in German and, and then tried to kill me. Well, don't worry, sir. You just need the help from a level 10 bard and his warrior friend. Leave it to us. All right, if you say so. Here's the keys to the barn. You're gonna go in there over a flute? Damn foolish, you ask me. We got a fight on our hands. How's everybody doing? That good? I'm gonna do my war dance now. Hey, you did it! You elves were pretty all right! Did you find the flute? I sure did, Rancher Bill. And now my bardic abilities will be greater than ever before. Well, you earned it. See you around. Thanks, new kid. I couldn't have done it without you. Where should we go next? Come back tomorrow, sweetie. I'm all booked up today. Uh -oh. 
Hi, Maplebeard. I wish I had some friends. Which of our local coffees would you like? Sorry, that's not available. My son has yet to pick up today's fresh local ingredients. Sorry, that's not available. My son has yet to pick up today's fresh local ingredients. I thought it was some of Rob Schneider's by the work. I could swear I heard a voice coming up from the sewers. It said something like, Hody How. Okay, people, nothing to see here. There's a much better view. Mornings I wake up with a sore asshole. I must be sleeping on it funny. I saw Butters get the worst titty twister around here. I remember once I gave Butters a noogie over there. Sorry kid, I'm too busy to talk to you right now. Maybe later. Surely my music is no match for a hero like you. You should have never unfriended Al Gore. He was your only chance. It's a good thing no one listened to Al Gore, or I never would have destroyed this town.
great. Yeah, I hope you guys don't get angry that I have to Bear pig, and only the brave Al Gore can stop me. Ouch! 
Did Al Gore send you? He is my greatest enemy.
on, let's do this! Dude, what is the holdup? Only now do you see the folly of not being Facebook friends with Al Gore. Al Gore is the only one who knows how to defeat me. Oh! Ouch! Gua! Somewhere you'd rather be? You mind if I update my status while we're waiting here? did a pretty sweet job with my costume. Grievous right now. You got a health potion on you? Next. This will be my greatest performance.
Check this out. There once was a maiden from st 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 from Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy did she sw boy did she swallow. I had a nice lance that she said that she set up her. The maiden from Stoneberry, who is also your mom. Wow, what a terrific audience. Set him up and knock him down. Once was a maiden from st 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 from Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy did she sw boy did she swallow. I had a nice lance that she said that she set up her. The maiden from Stoneberry, who is also your mom. Wow, what a terrific audience. Don't forget to tip your serving winch. Come on, new kid. Let's show them what we can do. I fear no man, except maybe the one you call Al Gore.
Hmm. and only the brave Al Gore can stop me. for a sour stomach.
has been great. Fresh meat for my trusty wolf companion. If you ever want some work done on your nose, see Dr. Tom. He's the best.
Sorry, kid, I'm too busy to talk to you right now. Maybe later. I don't even like donuts. That's the sad truth. Again, I see. Again, I see. I could swear I heard a voice coming up from the sewers. It said something like,
got a horrible Snuggie over there. For the life of me, I can't explain how I keep losing all my underpants. Our king may trust you, but that doesn't mean I have to. Our territory is restored. I am honored to friend you, Dragonborn. Go play with your new friends today. That's worse than before. You look like a girl. Looks like you have a couple days off school, honey. More time to meet some new friends in the neighborhood. Nice goldfish. I had to get rid of mine after it killed a bunch of people.
Clean up that bar ahead. again I see oh yes that would look great on you all right go on through door to your right hi I'm dr. Tom understand you're wanting some work done just have a seat right here all right just relax this won't hurt a bit until I start at which point it will hurt immensely <laughs> here we go Looks nice. Big improvement. Come back if you ever need any more work done. Did you have some work done? Back again, I see. Let. Go get him, new kid.
Have you seen my hat? Oh, Joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. You gotta admit, he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a goth. Being goth isn't just how you dress, it's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah! There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and tape this sign to their table. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it, and don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. Biggest damn Taco Bell I've ever seen. <laughs> Makes the Applebee's look like a pile of dog shit. Uh, yeah, have fun in there. I think I'll wait it out. It isn't right, I tell you! Out of nowhere, this huge Taco Bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious school time! Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they are working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're going to see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' educations? What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? Thanks for coming, new kid. Everyone, this is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... What's your name? Well, anyway, this child and I witnessed something last night, and I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead, kid. Tell them, you know, about all the... Go ahead, tell them, tell them that stuff. This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't going to do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents will. Come on, yeah, let's go! Come on! Fuck the conformists. Why, are they a good lay? Why don't you exercise your free speech at home, little boy? Don't we screw it around in here? This is a PTA meeting, young man. Be on your way. I used to have a bad hoarding problem, okay? But I got past it. Now I can just throw things away. Would you mind throwing this away from me? I just need it thrown away somewhere very specific. I'll show you on your map. Okay, thanks. All purchases go to support the pick. Right and wrong. <laughs> 
I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your asshole. Look, I know how you're feeling, okay? But this isn't gonna solve anything. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. Meet me in the bathroom. It's time for you to learn some real power. Biggest damn Taco Bell I've ever seen. <laughs> Makes the Applebee's look like a pile of dog shit. Back again, I see. Oh, yes, that would look great on you. All right, go on through. Door to your right. Hi, I'm Dr. Tom. Understand you're wanting some work done. Just have a seat right here. All right, just relax. This won't hurt a bit until I start, at which point it will hurt immensely. <laughs> here we go. Oh, that looks nice. Big improvement. Come back if you ever need any more work done. Did you have some work done? Back again, I... Shouldn't you be in school? I can tell you have potential, but you are undisciplined. Let me show you what I mean. Come at me. Try and fart on me. Come on! Hi, Cha! See that? Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't come close. So, what do you do when people can block your farts? You must learn to control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place. I'm going to teach you a fart called... The Sneaky Squeaker. It will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? Try and block my attack. You see that? I distracted you. Distracting your opponents is key to battle. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. 
Undisciplined. Even a child could block that fart. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, Mr. Mackey? Now it's your turn. Use Sneaky Squeaker to distract Mr. Mackey over to the corner there. Hey, did you guys hear that? Sounded like a chipmunk. Very, very good. Now use what I taught you to sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. You got that? All right, now go. Okay. You fart fiercely, like a farting lion. I wonder, has the Dragonborn finally returned?